I'm currently walking under the Thames here in London because I'm heading to a local school because over the next few weeks we will be following the progress of a local school who are taking part in the Tim Peake Space Seed Experiment. Hello, I'm British East astronaut Tim Peake and I'm currently inside the Columbus module which is a laboratory on board the International Space Station orbiting you on planet Earth 16 times a day. Now I'm looking after two kilograms of very special space seeds which is ready for our special mission Rocket Science from the Royal Horticultural Society Campaign for School Gardening and the UK Space Agency. Now conditions here on the International Space Station are quite different from on planet Earth due to us being weightless here in orbit. This experiment will aim to see if microgravity can affect the growth mechanisms in seeds. Now that these seeds have been on the International Space Station, I'll be packing them up at the end of their mission, sending them back down to Earth. And when they arrive, they'll be sent out to thousands of schools to grow alongside the seeds that haven't been up here in space as part of our special science experiment. These schools can then compare the growth differences between those seeds that have been flown in space and those that have remained on the ground. Today we've been planting the seeds that were given to us by the RHS as part of a rocket science experiment. Um, we had red and blue packets, we don't know which packet has the seeds that have been into space. The children have all planted the seeds into the cells, put the trays up on the window ledge, used the compost. They know exactly what they're doing, but they have no idea which one has been up into space and they'll be doing experiments and over the next 30 odd days, um, trying to find out which one they think has been to space by getting their results. Use the labels you have already made from the milk bottles, place as one label in each cell. I'm never doing a job like this ever again. Why is that? Because everything's so smelly. And which one do you think is the one that's come from space? A red packet. Why? Because rocket begins with red. Uh, rocket begins with R, and so does red. Uh, red rocket. Oh. We, we are putting labels into the into the compost. Let's just put those in one at a time. Just put that one in there. Next one there. Then the next person has a go. Up or We're making a hole for, uh, in the compost for the seeds to go in. Wow, okay. well, I'm going to do it, give you a few and then you can let me know if you need some more, okay? Because I don't want to overdo it because I need to use these. So what you do, if you do one row first, put them in your row, then hand the seeds over the next person to do that row, okay? And we'll go in that way. How many more of them? Yeah, yours Pop it in. Oh, that's the teeny seed. So just do your line first so you know exactly what's going on. Maybe that the seeds don't have to be so tiny. Sorry, why did you put this stick in? I think the ones on that was been on space will grow a bit smaller because they don't have any gravity or water or water. And the ones on Earth will have to be Yeah, well, will uh, grow a bit um, bigger because there is water and gravity. I think the Earth seeds are going to grow better because 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 on because in space and um, they they because when they were because when right, some of the seeds were in space they didn't have much water air or light for a really long time. I think that the seeds that they do earth for um, grow quicker because they have more gravity, water, air and heat. The children um, don't have access to the garden, uh, don't have access to the outside. Um, spaces that we can uh, afford here so um, our space here in the garden uh, our greenhouse our raised beds uh, allows them to get out experience life in a different way get the hands dirty
It's a very important space that we are very proud of and it's used by everybody in the school. But a few weeks ago I went to a school in London and they were sowing the Tim Peak seeds that came from space. Well, I went back this week to get an update. We are recording uh, down all our results into our science books and we're doing all the observations, the measures and the averages on all the red trays and blue trays. There is no difference between um, both of the seeds because they are exactly the same, the results are exactly the same, so you can't really tell which one was in space and which one was not. I was a bit disappointed because I, was, I thought that the seeds in space were going to grow smaller and the ones that have been on Earth were going to grow um, bigger. I'm more interested in gardening because now I know that if seeds have been in space for six months, they won't, they're still not affected. And I think the results, you can't really tell the difference because they're, they, they are both the same. I feel puzzled because the seeds were in space and up didn't make that much difference. From, because the seeds from space were sleeping. Um, I think it's quite interesting because I've never, I've never been in a, a in a investigation because this is a very good experience for me. It's the same. I wasn't disappointing because I thought that the seeds would, would be uh, taller, but but there was, there was no difference. I thought because it, it's in space with no air or gravity, it might grow differently to the ones that had stayed on Earth. I think the experiment um, was fun and um, like it, the evidence it was exactly the same so I can't tell which type, what, I mean which plant, which plant was sent up to space and which stayed on Earth. I thought it was really fun because we've never actually done a real science experiment like this before. I'm Tim Peake. I'm going to decide which colour packet is going to have the seeds that were flown in space. Heads will be red, tails will be blue. So here goes. It's tails. So there you have it. The blue packet will have the seeds flown in space. So a special thank you to the school for allowing us to come in and film. And also to the Royal Horticultural Society and the European Space Agency and Tim Peake.